I've caught a lot of things in my life. Some that I was okay with, some of them not so much. But I operate on a handful of very simple principles at this point in my life, or at least I try to. One of which is that your opinion of me is none of my fucking business. <laughs> It was an interview, you know, that's part of my job. And Bob Dylan invented my job, and then he took all the air out of the room so he didn't have to do interviews, and the rest of us do. The guy said, if you could describe yourself in one word, what would that word be? My first reaction was, man, isn't that your job? <laughs> but in this, you know, semi-pro, do-it-yourself world that we live in, I just uh, decided to give it a whack, and I thought it wasn't even a minute, and I came back, I said, if I had to describe myself in one word, I would have to say that I am first, and last, a romantic. Now, I mean that in almost every sense of the word. Now, we have a tendency, and I think this is odd. You'd think words would broaden with usage, but they don't. We have a tendency to narrow them down. And I do mean that, you know, intimate definition of romantic is part of describing myself that way. I mean, you know, the thing that happens between a man and a woman, or a man and a man, or a woman and a woman, that's, that's romantic. But I also mean like big romantic, like Don Quixote shit, like, you know, you got a dream, and everybody tells you there's no fucking way on earth it's ever gonna come true. And you just keep dreaming it, and, until it does. Mm. That's romantic. Now, I got married a lot in the 80s. <laughs> okay, I got married a couple times in the 70s too. <laughs> lasted longer than all the other ones put together, but it still ended. <laughs> but, you know, that was the romantic in me, you know, keeping trying that, and even though I obviously wasn't very good at it, and all I was trying to do was what my parents did, because my mom and dad were together until my dad passed away a little over 10 years ago. And I just wanted that. says <laughs> that I intentionally seek out women that I couldn't possibly succeed in a relationship with because I really want to be alone. <laughs> God, I hope that's not true because it sounds like a lot of fucking work. <laughs> but if it turns out that it is, I mean, I'm 63 years old now. The truth is, I've uh, grown to rather like sitting where I want to when I go to the movies. I can watch all the fucking baseball that I want to. And pitchers and catchers reported this week, folks. And even in New York City where I live, you can get one ticket to anything. And I've seen Hamilton three times. <laughs> say never, somebody said that. Never give up. Shows to go you never can tell. Chuck Berry said that. There's a girl up on the mountain I once knew. Let her 
go and now I'm sad and blue Sometimes late at night I pray She'll come down to me someday Put the girl up on the mountain Never knew So she gave herself To someone else back in Thought I'd never see her face again Still 